We're live! Yay! Hello, everyone. Are you all ready for our now annual tradition <clears throat> of pumpkin carving? Yeah. I know I am. I know the back side looks rough, <laughs> but it's the front side that matters. And uh, we're going generic this year. Uh, we learned our lesson last year that circles and things. Yeah, circles are hard. <laughs> we don't have a good knife for it. And as much as I would love to do Pikachu for mine, that's a lot of circles. Yeah. So uh, just Pokemon on the shirt, not on the pumpkin. So hello to everybody. Taylin, Crystal, Claudia, Mars, uh, Lauren, Danny, Janice, Kenzie, Alex, Maggie. Hello, hello, hello to everybody. So we are gonna we're gonna carve these pumpkins. Sorry, yeah. hey, help. He's in new. I'm here to eat. What can you feed me? <laughs> I have nothing for you, do. Just fine, I'm out of here. Okay, so. Have you guys carved pumpkins yet this year? <sighs> I also remember this ended up being difficult, like talking and carving at the same time. But, yeah. Angles and proportions. My skin is looking great lately. What's my secret? Well, thank you. Um, I think my secret is not really wearing much makeup anymore. And then also just using water to wash my face. <laughs> I'm kind of, actually, I'm honestly pretty mad about it. <laughs> that it really is that, uh, that simple, but Apparently that's all it takes, at least for me. And yes, you do. And then of course, love, love from the beautiful kitties makes all the acne go away. Isn't that right, dude? Yes. Ah, you miss my makeup declutters. Might I know it might be a while. They're very calming to watch. Well, I don't know, maybe someday I'll just throw it all out. You never know, you never know. Would I film a makeup collection vid? I mean, I could at this point for sure. It would be manageable. Um, but I don't know. It's like one of those things where since I don't put out a lot of content now, I want to like have it be extra special. But at the same time, I guess it's not. I don't know that any of my stuff is like extra special, you know? But so if you guys want, I certainly can. <sighs> I don't know what to draw. How y'all doing this? What do you mean? We're just gonna carve some pumpkins. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be a method to it. We already scooped out the innards. So we've got all the seeds and stuff out, which I am very excited about. Carve a cat in your pumpkin. I did last year. And yeah. so I wasn't sure if I should do it again, you know? So, I mean, I could, there'd be nothing wrong with that. God, I'm drawing a blank. I can't decide. What do I do, baby? What do I do? I don't know. I'm having troubles with my own. Uh, Maria, you miss me and hope that Dan and I are doing well. Well, thank you. I hope you're doing well as well. Carve two cats. <laughs> I wish you could make a cat face. I mean, if you guys want me to do a cat face, I can do a cat face again. I don't even remember what mine looked like last year. I know I have a picture of it. Maybe I should look at the picture. Let me let me take a peek, see. Let me take a peek, see. I think I think I have a screenshot or something in this folder of Dan and I. I know, isn't that gross? I have a folder of pictures of Dan and I. Aw, my cat was cute last year. Dang, I don't know that I can top that, you guys. <laughs> that was pretty good. Hmm. I mean, I could certainly try, but I don't want to do worse than I did. Hmm. Hmm. It's a big decision. It's a very big decision. It's a beautiful cat beside me. Yes. Hey, Juju. He's a beautiful kitty. He's a beautiful flower. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, that 
Let's see. Do a Mexican sugar skull. That sounds very complicated. I'm looking for easy. I think I think easy is is the key this year. Hmm. Hmm. I really can't decide. Are you just copying something? Kinda. I mean, that's perfectly fine if you are. I'm kind of in the boat where I think I should probably do that too. Hmm. A Pokemon one. I know. I would love to do a Pikachu one, but doing circles is so difficult. Uh, do you guys want me to try? Do a ghost? I know. Bailey, why are we doing this? What? Carving pumpkins. I don't know. You don't know what I wanted to do. <laughs> Do a bat. Are we going to roast the pumpkin seeds? Yes. And I'm actually so excited because last year we hardly got any seeds and I was real sad about it. I think I got like one, maybe two servings out of it, but I've got a whole pan worth. Like I've got an eight by 13, nine by 13. Wow. It's usually what an eight by eight, nine by 13. I got a nine by 13 where like, it's not even just a single layer. It's like stacked so they need to they need to dry out first but oh yours is gonna be cute yeah yeah i like it should i have mine being scared next to yours yeah oh i really i can't i'm in <laughs> such an indecisive mood right now that's how i felt about it the whole time Gengar is mostly triangles. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Let me look at baby do Polygon. Do polygon. Polygon's all angles. Porygon. Porygon, whatever. Polygon, porygon. It's the same thing. What, what do you want? Huh? What did you want to get? I want you to talk to the chat so oh. that they are not lonely while I look up a Gengar pumpkin. Ooh. I don't want Cherry line okay. the first time. Okay, an evil jack o' lantern. Evil. Dan got so excited. <laughs> Let's see. Gengar oh. pumpkin. Hmm. I could probably pull that off. I think I could pull that off. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can do that. Talk to the chat. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you doing? Dan, you would make a great comedian. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Unfortunately, I would not. A lot goes into being a stand-up comedian, including, like, consistent joke writing and stuff, and mine's all improv. I can do improv. How do you, how do, you do on stage in front of people? Depends. Yeah? Yeah. Sometimes terrible. If I know what I'm actually talking about, great. But no, like, stage fright or anything? If I know what I'm talking about or know what I'm doing, then no problem. But, like, if I'm up there for, like, some random reason, then no, I'll bomb terribly. Yeah. <clears throat> How do you get time off from work to go to the dentist? My manager is always a pain. Um, Tell them you have to go to the dentist. I was gonna say, just do your two weeks in advance. Give your yeah. give your notice. I mean, not like your I'm quitting notice, but like you get days off. You know, they can't really be mad at you, especially when you tell them it's to go to the dentist. Like, I don't think they're gonna be mad about that. Well, maybe we we can get mad about that. Yeah, I don't think if it's like some kind of a doctor appointment or something. Like, I really don't think they can be angry about that. And if they are, well, it's easy to say get another job, but, you know, they do get mad, LOL. Well, I think then, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's easy to say get another job, but I know it's not that easy. I just simply tell my bosses I need the time off, and yeah, exactly. They that's, give me the time off. That's what I do. I mean, I haven't really needed to ask for a ton of time off, 
but like one of the, you know, I needed to take time off for the funeral. My boss did not argue with me. <laughs> uh, you know, of course they're not happy. Like it's never fun having to like find coverage and stuff, but at the same time, they can't expect people to just work all the time. You know, I mean, isn't that like a part of human rights laws yeah. and labor laws? It's that, like part of OSHA. Yeah. That you get time off. So. You need an ear, I got an earpiece maybe? I actually do need ears. So thank you very much. <clears throat> I mean, I think it would work without ears, but I think it'll be better with. Right. So that might be a little low. Oh, well. Tis what it is. All right. All right, what? Is it right? What? Right. It's almost too low sometimes. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no, it's actually curving for once. What, the night? Yeah. I mean, that's not good. You don't want to break the knife. <laughs> no, like, no, the, the it's. Oh, like you could make a circle? Curve cut, yeah. Oh. Okay, guys, sorry. I know this is, this is hard. As much as I like doing, like, art in a live stream, it's hard to, like, focus on it and also talk about interesting things. So let me try and think. Actually, let me go and get some, uh, alcohol i need to not i mean it'd be, <laughs> it'd be fine to drink but actually probably not with sharp knives but i just want to be able to get so i know which lines i'm cutting out of his mouth so dan you have to talk to them okay okay i don't hear you talking to them sorry i'm drawing a line talk to them drawing a line talk to them tell them sweet nothings uh. Yeah. So, uh, what are you guys all gonna do for the Halloween season? Any any cool costume ideas, guys? Yeah. Does anyone have a job where they can dress up for work? Yeah, that's it. I don't. I don't want to give anything away. So don't say anything about my workplace. Of course. <laughs> well, it would be easy to slip up right now, but yeah, I I think. Where I work, we would kind of be able to, but also kind of not. So I don't know. I might do something very simple. One of my coworkers really wants to dress up. Um, so I might do it with her just so that she has someone to dress up with. Now I can't figure out how this is supposed to go. Okay, yeah, so we take this off. Okay, yeah, my brain is not made for pumpkin carving. The people that do like this super intricate stuff, or even just like this negative space stuff, it's always a little hard for me to picture. I think that's why I wasn't like, no, Ochem is just lies and fantasy. That's why that was hard. It had nothing to do with having to imagine things. It's like determining chirality and stuff. That just effed all of us over. <laughs> Oh God, I swear it really is. Yeah, whatever. Science is science. Anywho, what is your couple's costume? We don't have one. What did we even? So Halloween this year is a Tuesday, so it must have been Monday last year. I mean, we don't. Did we do anything for? I don't feel like we did anything for Halloween. No. I haven't. I don't think I've done anything for Halloween since like pre-COVID. Um, I just like. Three years ago, I went to a Halloween party. Yeah. But that was the, the weird one. The weird one. <clears throat> I had half a beer and got sicker than a dog for some oh. reason. Remember, everyone, be careful with knives and liquor. Yeah. Be safe. I don't know. Do people drink and carve pumpkins? I really hope not. <laughs> Thinking about it, but baby, no. <laughs> We're a little dry right now. Uh, embrace it. <laughs> Let's see. Happy Halloween from Australia. Is it a stupid question? Do <laughs> clearly other yes. countries must yes. celebrate? Yes. But like, do they celebrate in the same way? You know, like, are there any, like, different Australian Halloween traditions? I don't know. 
Because, like, obviously in Mexico and stuff, Day of the Dead, that's different. But that's, like, a completely different yeah, holiday, totally isn't different it? Thing. Yeah. Yeah, because that's to, like, celebrate loved ones, right? Lost loved ones. Um, <sighs> ugh, okay. I truly think you looked fantastic in the green wig. You were stunning. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. It was one of those things where I thought once I did the makeup look, it looked good, but like I can't imagine having like some people can just pull off colored hair so nicely, <laughs> even on just like a day to day basis. I just don't feel like I can unless I'm doing some kind of like a look with it. Maybe that's my own insecurities, but uh, yeah, I also I feel bad. I don't know what to do. I have footage. So the Renaissance Festival, right? You guys know Dan loves it. We only got to go one time this year, and the one time that we went, it was very brief. And so I have vlog footage from that because the day that we went, there was a heat advisory, and Dan got heat sick. Um, it's bad. Like, heat yeah, sick. yeah. And so we went home. You know, like a no problem. You know, if you're sick, you're sick. But like also. At that point, it was maybe like the second week, first week of opening. Yeah. And so we were like, we have two months. We'll be back. But then like our weekends were so busy after that. So we just never had time to go back. So like I have some vlog footage, but then like, how do you end it? Because I didn't like do a cutaway, like saying like, oh no, Dan is sick. Like see you guys tomorrow or anything. Like it just kind of would abruptly end. I guess maybe I could figure something out and just insert an ending to it. But I feel bad, like I did my makeup and everything. Like, I don't know, it feels wasteful. And there were some funny moments, I feel like maybe that I caught on camera, but I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it. How's it coming? It's going all right. Yeah, ooh, goobers, goobers. If you scroll up, you will see how to prepare pumpkin seeds. I do you have like a really good recipe? Cause I, I don't know if I have it saved somewhere or if I just like Google best pumpkin seed recipe every year. Um, it's pretty simple. I feel like it's just like garlic salt and some paprika and stuff. Um, and I really like them that way. I don't know that I want to change the recipe that I use, but also like I said, I don't know that I actually use the same recipe every year, but I at least use a similar one. I can check my cut away from yourself, Cassie. Good job. Safety first, safety first. I don't know why this little piece isn't coming out. I'm pretty sure I cut all the way through and yet. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what's wrong, Randy? I uh, covered a little bit extra off on that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of this. Is that I don't think they're supposed to be pretty. Okay, that piece is just going to go in. <laughs> Has anyone else carved pumpkins yet this year? Or are you waiting? I know we're doing it kind of early, but since this week was supposed to be the live stream, you know, I, <laughs> I figured we may as well, especially since we're home this time around. Oh, Dan and I have been watching American Horror Story because I had never watched it because I'm really bad with scary movies and stuff. So like when it came out and people just said it was so spooky. And so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stay away from that. Um, but then I feel like as the years have gone by, people are like, no, 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 it's just like, it's not like scary, scary. It's just like kind of, like it's not gonna give you nightmares, kind of scary. And so I was like, okay, let me give it a try. And I think I've become like at least a little better with scary stuff as I've gotten older. So I was like, let's give it a try. Uh -oh. Hair in my mouth. Uh, come on. Um, and Dan, you had seen everything except the newest season. Is that right? Like the newest couple. Newest like couple two. of seasons. Because how many seasons are there? Like eight? No, there's like 13. Jesus, really? Yeah. I think I made it up to the 1980 whatever one. Okay, because we're only on season three. We, yes. we got through the first one and I enjoyed it. It hasn't aged the best as most media 
does throughout the years. Um, but you know, overall, it was still enjoyable. Um, the second season, Asylum, I liked it. Like it, I think I liked the first season better, but I still liked it. This third season, Coven, I don't like it. I don't know what it is about it. It's just like there's nothing spooky about it. Right. I don't know what it is. It just hasn't been like spooky in the slightest. Um, so I don't know. This third season, I've been like half watching, half not really caring. I also think it's kind of confusing that they use so many of the same actors and actresses. I don't know why they chose to do that. Like if they had some kind of a contract to keep using them, but it's just kind of confusing to me, especially when like you said, all of the odd seasons are supposed to actually tie together. Yeah. And so like, how does that work if they're playing multiple characters? Like, is there any crossover eventually with characters? Well, yes, there is eventually crossover. Yeah. Like that's very confusing to me. <laughs> Although I do really like the actors and stuff that they have mm -hmm. on repeat. Um, I feel like most of them I just call by their season one name. Right. <laughs> like Tate and Moira and stuff. <laughs> and Violet. But yeah, I don't know. Um, we'll see. Dan said he didn't like the next season either. So that's the best season. Which one? Coven? Or Freak Show. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you like it, you're allowed to like it. I mean, obviously, people... I like personally it. like the Doomsday episode, or the Doomsday season. That was one of my favorites. Which one is that? Uh, I think it's like... It's one of the odd ones. Um, like nine or something. Okay. It's pretty late in there. So, it's not like... But that's the one I think that has the most, like, continuity. Which one is Lady Gaga in? Uh, she's in a hotel, which is not one of the odd ones. Okay. Because I feel like people loved her in that. Yeah, she's a really good actress in it. Yeah. So, I'm excited for that one. But you haven't seen Fig in forever. Where is Fig? Where is Fig? Fig. So warm and toasty and sleepy. Yeah. Here's Fee. Say hi to Fee. Say hi to Fee. Yeah, that's yeah. that's that's Dunzo's. Yeah, he's doing good. He's just he's been sleeping. Yeah, I'm gonna go put him back. You're all done with your babe? <laughs> it goes a lot faster when you actually had a plan before, as opposed to I think when we sat there last year, we were just like, oh, I don't know what we're gonna do. And I did like ooh face because it was the easiest thing I could think of. Well, good. I'm happy for you. Yours is all done. Do we wait for a double reveal or do yes. I reveal my first? Okay. Double reveal, I think, would be good. Which ones are going to be my ears? Are you a Harry Potter? Were you a big Harry Potter fan? Yeah, I really liked Harry Potter really? when I was young and whatnot. Like I said, that was the book that actually got me to like start reading as an enjoyable hobby. Yeah, I mean, I only ever read the books because they were worth <laughs> the most points because they were wrong. <laughs> right. Um, I don't know why. I really think it had to do with like, it was at a time where I was like trying so hard to be accepted and like not a nerd anymore. And like, I already had so much love for Pokemon and that sort of thing. Like, I think my fangirl heart just didn't have room for it. Because yeah. otherwise, I feel like it's something I would <laughs> have, like, really enjoyed. But, like, now that I'm older, like, I feel like it's something you kind of have to grow up with as a kid. And I don't know. <laughs> Freak show isn't great, but hotel was a fun season. Okay. Did you want to get any other permanent marker off of it, babe? Yeah. I don't know which chunks you want to use. I don't either. Whichever ones look like, like I feel like that, those would be good ears. I'll take these ones. Thank you. Freak shows and, oh, I just read that one. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> I double read your comments. Yeah, I, I don't like freak show. <sighs> I got his eyes done. That's exciting. And they're kind of round. So I'm kind of 
yeah, I'm kind of pleased with myself. About that. I'm just gonna make it so you can see in there. I think my pumpkin is a little less thick than last year, although this one still is pretty freaking thick. So kind of, I don't know. I don't know how the, I mean, I guess that's artistry for you. People who do the really intricate, crazy ones. Huh. I'm sure they also use like electric knife or something. Well, yeah, and like actual proper tools. <laughs> but like the ones that do where it's kind of like, you know, multidimensional, um, and leave some of the pumpkin so that it like the light kind of filters through some of the parts. Like people are just so talented. <laughs> I think that's my biggest like hard point about being an artist is that I just, there's so many people that are so talented out there. It's so easy to be like, what's the point? You know, someone else can do it so much better than me. I know that's my own. <laughs> oh. That's my own problem, but yeah, tis what it is. You, what are you meowing about? I'm so happy. Well, I wasn't happy. I was scared that I brought something home from volunteering, but I had to take do into the vet this week because he, on Sunday, last Sunday, all of a sudden just had like liquid diarrhea. And I had been working with a cat at the shelter who had been dealing with some liquid diarrhea. And I thought, and I knew I had gotten poop all over me and I thought I had done my best, like <sighs> washing it off and everything. And so I was so scared that I gave him something horrible. Um, so I set up a vet appointment for him. And of course, by the time that rolled around, he was better and his poop wasn't runny <laughs> anymore. But I figured, you know, I may as well bring him in just in case I've got the appointment, you know. Um, what was I saying? Oh, but so he's been on a diet all year. And it's been hard because he loves food. Yes, he's very food one. <laughs> but he was at like 16 pounds something when uh, I first brought them into the vet last February, I think it was. And he was down to 12 point something when I took him in. Mm -hmm. And the vet said that he's at an almost ideal weight. So that made me very happy because I feel like, I don't know, I was nervous he was getting a little too skinny because I'm not used to seeing a waist on cats, but I know you're supposed to be able to see one, but like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just so used to the typical house cats being a little chonky. Um, but ever since G passed away, I'm like, I just want my cats to live forever. So like, <sighs> Yeah, it's not that we've been starving them, but we have had them on a diet. And ugh, it was just nice to actually like hear that it's been working. So that was good. That was a good, happy point this week. Mm -hmm. eh, eh. So is this the new kitchen? It's laid out similarly to the old, right? Yeah, it, it's, I mean, we're in the same complex and everything. Um, so it probably looks a little familiar, but it's it's different. Like the one that we were in last time had more of like a studio kitchen layout where it's just kind of all on the one wall, but now we've got like the L kind of a kitchen. It's so nice. You guys, like we actually have extra cupboard space Yeah. <laughs> before we were just like shoving things in. <laughs> yeah, I know. I definitely like that uh, space that we got. It's so much nicer mm. to have. I just, uh, I don't know. It's, yeah. One of those things where yes we can live with a smaller kitchen but if we don't have to dang it's nice yeah <laughs> so did you do anything fun this week that you would like to tell them baby I didn't do anything fun this week <laughs> nothing besides spend time with you and the boys i was gonna say you had gaming nights this week yeah Played some video games with the boys. I, I played a, a video game with the boys at one point. <laughs> she had to take the controller for like three minutes. Uh huh. Because I needed Dan to help me fix the litter robot. It's been giving us troubles lately. I don't know if ours is just old or like what's going on, but it's been really frustrating. It'll just get stuck mid cycle. And so then if we're not paying attention, the cats just like don't have a litter box to use, which is obviously not great. Um, and it had gotten stuck and just Dan's so much better taking it apart and stuff than I am. 
Um, and so I had him go do that. And so he just like put the headphones on me and he was like, here you go, play. Cause you guys, they just started a new game or whatever. And what you like have to wait around for that to happen. Like you can't just choose to start a new game. Do I have that? No, we were already in the, we were already starting a game and it's online. So you can't pause. Okay. Either way. So ugh, I put on the headphones and I was like, okay, hi guys. Like which buttons do I push? And they were like, well, we're all playing on PCs and Dan's playing on an Xbox. So we don't know. I'm like, cool, cool. Okay. So I'm going to figure this out. So I was pushing all of the like A and X buttons and stuff and they weren't doing anything. <laughs> Except I think they switched out my weapon once at one point. And so I was like, and they were like, okay, well, that's nice, but you have to come follow us. And I was like, okay, la la la. And then I couldn't figure out how to run. So I was going real slow. Yeah. And I was just, I and just you fell off the edge. I did, but someone was able to save me. So I didn't die, which was nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I never found any zombies or anything to no, no. try and attack. But that also meant no one attacked me. So that was nice. Yeah. I survived. <laughs> I don't think the boys were happy about it, but I survived. Yeah. Okay, good. I wasn't trying to be a dick. I just like, I wanted them to have a litter box. That's all. So. <sighs> Yay, Brenda, you finally caught a live. Same with Sylvia from Australia. I'm always so surprised. I mean, there's no reason to be surprised about it, but like, I'm always surprised to hear that I have international viewers. That's so cool to me. The internet's a crazy thing, right? I know. It's so <laughs> weird. So weird. How does it even work? I actually don't know how the internet works. It's a series of tubes. Ooh, that just popped right out. I just don't understand anything technology-wise. Like cell phones, how's that work? Phones in general, how's that work? TV, how's that work? I know it has to do with like light rays and transmission radio electrons. waves and but like how do those work i don't even get how those work electrons <laughs> i know but it's all such like imaginary to me i know it actually exists because there is science behind it but it just seems like someone sat down and they were like all right this is what we're gonna say is how it works mm -hmm. believe me <laughs> and then somehow that ended up being correct right this is why I'm not a scientist because I'm not smart enough to do we do we have a favorite vegetarian slash vegan restaurant in the Twin Cities area? I have one. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Um. Wow. Why can't I remember the name all of a sudden? I mean, none of the hard ones... times. <clears throat> hard times cafe. I haven't been to that. Yeah. It's uh next to the U of M. Oh, it's is a that the little. Hole in the wall it's one? a little hole in the wall like cafe type thing that's run by college students meant for college students in there but it's all vegetarian all vegan um and it's like super super cheap like they they make really good food but it's like really cheap because they're the whole point of it is, is so that vegetarian and vegan college students can still afford to eat and go to school why haven't you taken but there's like no cash cash register system, or at least last time I was there, there's no cash register system yeah. or anything like that. Like you write it down on paper and like it just makes it so everything's cheaper. They have really good stuff and they have really good vegan cookies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We should go. I mean, most of the places that I eat at, you guys, it's not like specifically vegetarian. You just find something on the menu that ends up being vegetarian. The ones that I like the best, we really love Moscow on the Hill. It's a Russian yeah. uh, restaurant that my brother had found. And uh, they have vegetarian dumplings. Oh my God. That, they're pickled vegetables. They've got like cheesy bread. Oh my God. I mean, all of their food, it just, I mean, the stuff that I've had is delicious. The stuff that my family has ordered that has meat mm. in it looks delicious. Yeah. The dumplings I get with meat in them are absolutely amazing. And like maybe a little TMI or whatever, but the burps after come back <laughs> tasting just like it. And it it's worth it. You get like an extra two hours of flavor. I mean, it's the kind of food where like you want to order your entree and then order an extra entree to bring home. Mm -hmm. Like you don't want leftovers. You want meal. And they have those uh, take-home dumplings that we're going to get next time. Yeah. So that's somewhere that I would definitely 
recommend going to. Um, we also love mm-hmm. a place called Tongue in Cheek. They, They're pretty good. They have specifically vegan stuff on their menu. They're always changing their menu. Um, and the vegan stuff that I've tried there, honestly, it's not my favorite. I really like the ramen there. That was really good. Yeah, but I do like their, like, you know, accidentally vegetarian stuff, like an omelet, um, their waffles, that sort of stuff. So um, I really like it there otherwise. Um, And they've got these, like, little appetizer things that are, like, these little spoonfuls that are, like, they're in those, like, Asian spoons. Hmm. um, Oh, yeah, those, yeah, with the dessert on it. Yeah, well, it's not dessert. No, the like, no, they're like the spoons that you're supposed to use for soup and stuff. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so like my brother and my dad really love the one called East Fried Pride. It's like pork belly and something. I get one that's like a blueberry that's infused with like peanut sauce. And then it's got some kind of a cheese on it. And it's got some kind of, it's like sitting in some kind of an oil. It's just, oh my God. And it's meant to be like a one bite thing. And it's just so effing good oh my gosh oh it's so delicious so i don't know those are a couple fun places to try out if you're looking for places in the twin cities to eat am i watching the golden bachelor yeah it's awful (laughs) it's like so horrific and i feel like the producers knew that and that's why they're cutting women so quickly like we're almost done and it's been like four episodes (laughs) It's just, it's so boring. (laughs) It's boring. It's cringe. Like the guy that's the bachelor is just, I don't know. There's something about him. That's just like so fake. I don't know. It's, it's not for me, but it is for me. I'm enjoying watching it. I'm like, (sighs) (sighs) okay. This is a workout baby. (laughs) It's a very thick. Oh, look at my pumpkin is like sweating. Yeah. It's hot in here. You're loving the Golden Bachelor? I don't know. I mean, I guess I could see how people would love it. It's just not been for me. Cassie, cut away from yourself. Good job. Um, But like, I'm enjoying watching it. Like, don't get me wrong. (laughs) So. I do not watch 90 Day Fiance or Sister Wives. I know everyone told me I would love 90 Day Fiance, but I just never got into it. That was just like an absolute, like, just ridiculous <laughs> circus as far as I remember. Yeah. Because I watched a bit of that. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It just never seemed like, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I don't know if there was like a specific reason I never watched it. Probably just because I have other things that I'm watching. That's my only reason. It's not a very good reason, but that is my reason. <laughs> you think he seems so pure. I mean, I, I get it. I don't know. It's, I don't know. Something about it comes off as like an act or something. Maybe it's not. Maybe he's just, I don't know. I'm not trying to speak illly about him. I'm sure he's a perfectly nice guy. But it's also one of those things. And it's like this every season. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not just his season. But we're like, they've known each other for like 12 hours. And they're already crying over each other. Like, I don't want to lose you. Shut up. You didn't feel the same way for me after 12 hours? I felt that way for you after... You know, now that you put it in that perspective... Yeah. Because you broke up with me after two dates when you thought you had to move to Florida. Uh And I guess then we only knew each other for eight hours in person. We spent a lot of time talking outside of that. But, and I cried. Huh! That actually just put it into perspective. Maybe it's not so weird. Yeah, maybe. Oh, wow. I'm Mm -hmm. just a dick. You gotta think about these things. (laughs) Gotcha. Wow, Dan standing up for the Bachelor contestants. Never thought that day would come. I just like to be argumentative. I know you do, baby. I love it so much. (laughs) My big, fat, fabulous life is still on? Wow. I never really got into it. Whitney was her name, right? Or is her name? Um, 
she seems perfectly nice. I guess I just never really got into it. I know my mom watched it for a while, but I think it was one of those shows that she watched if there was nothing else to watch type of a thing. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong about that. She might have enjoyed it more than that. But Really quick, guys, so the people are saying that to use a pumpkin carving set, we did get serrated knives this time around, so like you can't see it, but yes, they are Last serrated. Last time around, we didn't buy anything this year. Yeah, <clears throat> we used serrated knives this time, and yes, it is significantly easier. I, thought we I just should... don't think those plastic ones that come in the set like are deep enough. Like These pumpkins are thick. I thought we used these same knives last year. No, we used straight blades. Really? Yeah, hmm. that's why we're having so big of issues. Okay. I don't know why I would have chosen that. It's not like I didn't have serrated knives last year. Right. <laughs> uh, silly me. What can you do? I'm pretty much done, you guys. I just need to clean this up a bit. I'm kind of excited to see how it's going to turn out. Did you already alcohol yours off, babe? Yes. Nice. And I wasn't even looking. <laughs> what? It's too meta. Who are you texting? Your mother. He actually is. <laughs> or my mom texted him and I. It looks like my phone got a text too. <laughs> that she's watching us. Hi, mom. We're carving pumpkins. You want to come join? You'll have to buy a pumpkin on your way, but you're more than welcome here. Mm -hmm. You know that. Okay. Okay, so Spirit Halloween sells some nice carving kits that we could use. Do they? Yeah. I, I do, in fact, so know where spirit is. Like the ones, I feel like they all just come with like plastic handles and they're completely made out of plastic. And I'm like, how well, is that going to work? California Dreaming says that they are, they're silver, so they should work, right? No. I mean, as long as they're actual metal, like I don't see why not. I just feel like the ones I always see like at the yeah. grocery store look so thin and flimsy. But I could be wrong. I am no pumpkin carving expert. That is for darn sure. All right. Where did I go with the cap? And also, Mark, we were not in Chicago, unfortunately, but we appreciate that you might have said hi if you did see us. Did you think you saw us? In Chicago. But we oh, have not wow. been to Chicago. Aw, well, no. I would, would I tell you guys if I was traveling? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paranoid. Uh, yes, Gina, we saved the seeds. We have a whole bunch of seeds. I'm so excited to make them. Let's say out of the two that we we got, we pulled out like a whole bunch. Uh -huh. Way, way a I'm lot. I'm so excited. Oh, there's one. Oh, maybe I found another one. Another seed? Oh, okay. Yes, the one seed. Yes, we missed. Well, it was in mine. I'm not saying you missed it. It was in my pumpkin. The actual pumpkin knives are way different, are they? Like, well, we'll way try. Way different than serrated ones. <gasps> I found another one. <laughs> Rosie, for some reason, when I glanced up, I mean, I think that's showing my personal issues, but all I saw was, you guys fall suck. <laughs> says, yay, great fall snack. <laughs> like, that's on me. Thank you. Yes, it is a great fall snack. Just a great snack in general. I love pumpkin seeds. Thank you, California Dreamer, for the $2. Oh, thank you very much for Cassie's amazing mother. Such a sweet person. Agreed. I will definitely pass that on to her. Mm -hmm. Somehow, some way. So she's watching right now? No, I know, but to pass the $2 on, mm. not the words. Well, yeah, because I don't need to pass the words on because like I said, she's watching. Okay, Dan, keep them occupied. I need to get all of this out of here. Yeah. <clears throat> and Kelly, we appreciate it, but uh, we uh, don't even, I don't think, we, you don't have a PO box anymore I to send things? Know. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm sorry. It got really overwhelming and but, I felt guilty about having it. But we'll I take all of it into consideration. We'll buy kits next year just to see how easier it makes. <gasps> There's a seed in there, baby. Oh. 
I got so many dingle dangles in here. How'd you get yours out so quick? I just scraped it really hard and took a lot of the edging out with it. Uh, I, I was worried I might actually puncture through by like pumpkin two times. <laughs> uh, but it's so thick. A lot of the feelings he has as well of the ladies is that they've both lost their spouses, which they loved. Yeah, but like I also <laughs> don't love that where it's like. I don't know, maybe I would feel differently if I was in that situation, but like, I just feel like it's like talking about any ex on a first date. Like, yeah. it just feels icky to me. I don't like it. I mean, I know, like I said, like, who am I to talk? I've not lost a spouse. Like, I can't even imagine, like, when that day comes. Like, right. it will, it would be hard. Like, I'm not saying that, that it's not hard, but I just feel like there's a time and a place. But like I said, what do I know? I am not 70. I have not had a 40-some year long relationship. Yet. Correct. How old are we? We'll be in our 70s. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll be their age. Crazy. Okay. I'm scared I'm going to punch it through his face. I don't want to punch it through your face, Gengar. Gina likes your sweater. Thanks. <laughs> Dan got it for me. Yeah. Trying to tell me something. <laughs> Technology's trying to tell Dan. Thank you, California Dreamin', for watching us. Yeah, it's you're super always, nice of you, especially if we're only one of the ones. They've been watching for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've, I've like. seen them since the beginning. Okay, yeah. Always good to see you. Yes. Uh, Yes, he's concentrating really hard. I am. I don't want to puncture through the face. <laughs> oh, I'm scared I would do that. Have you played the Pokemon DLC for Scarlet and Violet? Is it out? I have no idea. I didn't know they it was out it. yet. I thought it wasn't coming out until November. Ooh, that's exciting. No, I haven't played it, but I'll have to. Yay, an excuse for me to play other video games. Uh-huh, because I'll be busy playing mine. Wee! It's a present for both of us. I don't think I'll be playing the DLC. No. No. Nah. Like I said, I wasn't too impressed with Scarlet and Violet. <clears throat> Especially coming back from playing originally, you know, gold and it's blue. Different. It's or, Yeah, gold and blue were the two I had. It definitely has more of like a training wheels feeling to it. Yeah. Which I'm sure you could take some settings. No, I like cranked max. I had mine crank hardest difficulty. Oh, it's really? Still just a walk in the park. Okay. I don't think I changed the settings on mine, but. But getting that uh, shiny Lucario. That was completely random. That yeah, really that was nice. nice. I do like that it seems like shinies are more accessible in it. Um, maybe it's just because you can actually see them running around, so you're more. Uh, incentivized to go out into the fields because you can actually see them shining in there. But yeah, I had never caught a shiny before Scarlet and Violet, so that was fun. And Arceus, Legends Arceus. Oh, I think I'm done, you guys. I think the thing that will stick with me the most from that game ever, though, is the gym battle song. When oh, the yeah. The crowd starts getting into it. It is. It's, had, it gets stuck in my head. They had started then, Sword and Shield, and it was so catchy. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was like everyone's favorite part. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it really is. It makes you feel like awesome while you're doing it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I agree. Reveal time? No, I need to put the ears on. Oh, yes. I'm close. I'm close. Oh, where did I put the toothpicks in this place? Somewhere in here? Yeah. Oh, it's the other one. Still figuring out our own kitchen. <laughs> well, toothpicks, I just rarely ever need them. Right. Um, and if I do need them, I'm at home, so like, I, I go get floss. Her one. Because yeah, I was having problems with using the one last year. Oh, you're going to use my eyes? Yeah, I think so. They're perfect. Yeah, they are. 
You want them like long ones? I don't know how this went on. Long ways off or? Uh, yeah. I think so. Wait, I need to see which year is that going to be. Okay, it's right here. Okay. Video games on a rainy day eating pizza is life. That does sound mm -hmm. like such a nice day. <sighs> Will we get any trick or treaters? <gasps> Unfortunately, no. Oh, just toothpicks. <laughs> no, I don't think we get any trick or treaters here. No, I think they might set up like a special I think they think area up, yeah. for them so that they don't just bug everybody in the apartment complex, which I think is a pretty good idea for an apartment complex to do that. Yeah, well, there's a lot of pets and stuff in these and whatnot. Yeah. I heard those bark dogs barking all day, pretty much. That's pretty good. Even with, I don't know about the ears, but it is Gengar. He yeah. does have ears. No, it works. I like that's that. pretty good. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we will be putting the pumpkins outside until they inevitably rot. Yeah, I don't want the cats. I mean, I know cats can eat pumpkin, but I don't. I don't want to deal with that if it doesn't sit well in their stomach or if they eat too much of it. Not that I think they could chew through this <laughs> since it's so thick, but either way. That okay, so how did we... brought me alcohol and stuff on it too. Yeah, that too. How did we do this? I know I used one of the lighters. Did you use an actual lighter, I think? Maybe. <laughs> and you did. Do you not have one? Uh, uh, not that I know. I should have. Oh, I have another one of these. I say we have those fake candles, little battery candles. Yeah, but they weren't powerful. Oh, enough yeah. For that's right. we tried. So we ended up doing this and it ended up working really nicely. All right, guys, you ready for, ready to take your screenshots? <laughs> I'm actually so, really happy with this. Okay, are you guys ready? We're gonna do it on three, okay? One, two, three. Oh. Ah, ah. Look how cute! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> do you guys love it? Yeah. yeah. That looks awesome. All yeah. right. Lights! Lights! Yeah. Yeah, and here you can oh, see. Oh, thank you. You can see with his ears on. I feel like they're not as impressive without the lights inside. Like, it just... Yeah. Eh, looks kind of whatever. Yeah. Yay, they look great. Yeah! Yeah. Thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Thank you, yeah. <sighs> I wish Try. I, I didn't, I mean, if I had come up with this on my own, I'd feel more proud. <laughs> <laughs> but since it's not like my design or anything, I mean, whatever. But 10 out of 10 on both. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy. Especially since we both did ours last minute. <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, I've been thinking about it all week, but I just kept coming back to like, oh, just do a cat again. But then I'm like, oh, this is so boring. <laughs> So I never like settled on anything. Uh -huh. There are some though I would like to try. I think I just found one today when I was looking where they like made jail bars out of the big pumpkin oh, yeah. and then they bought a bunch of little ones that they just drew little faces on like looking all sad and they put them inside. Uh 
<laughs> I think those are cuter, like the ones where they make it so it looks like the big guy is like chomping on a little yeah. guy. I think those are really funny. Are we dressing up for Halloween? No. No. We're not that excited. We don't got anything going on. If we had like a Halloween party or something to go to, we would, but. Yeah. No, I mean, it's the middle of the week. You know what yeah, I mean? And I don't know what we would necessarily do. Yeah. There you go. I just need something to fan myself. Nice. So spoopy. My mom sent a screenshot. Ah. <sighs> Barnes and Noble had to buy one, get one 50% off on manga last mm -hmm. weekend. We were so excited. We went to go buy like three and we walked out with like 10. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't pass up that kind of a sale. You just oh, can't. Yeah. So your mom is so cute. I know she is. It's true. She's amazing. Watch a spooky movie uh, with some great fall snacks. We could. I just have never been a big Halloween person. Like it's yeah. it's perfectly fine and good. I don't have anything mm -hmm. against it. But like I feel like some people get super excited about Halloween, and I just have never been. Like it's fine. Like I said, if I get invited to a party or something, mm -hmm. I'll dress up. I have nothing against it. I actually love dressing up. But I could go as like Swamp Moss with that ghillie suit that I have. <laughs> I always just end up dressing up as Tina from Bob's Burgers because I have the costume. <laughs> yeah. So it just kind of ends up working well on me. So we'd be cute dressing up as Velma and Shaggy. That would be pretty cool. Like Zoink Scoob. You would hardly even need to dress up. I, know, I just right? need to get you the t-shirt. Green, uh, green shirt, maroon pants. No, they were brown. Oh, maroon. They're, brown. they're like a tan. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Uh, right? I hope I'm not wrong. Yeah, sure <laughs> I think they were like a tan. Yeah, see, someone says they are brown pants. Velma is orange and it's more red than maroon, I feel like. Or no, maybe it is more maroon than red. But hot flash, Cassie, yeah. <laughs> Do I tell oh, they're kind of brown maroon. They're brown. <laughs> they're like a sienna. Yeah. We're both right. I don't know. I mean, I, I still take them, but I take them at the beginning of the day usually. So, I mean, I could have taken one before this, but I guess I wasn't predicting how hot I was going to get carving this pumpkin. <laughs> uh, Sarah, you don't see us having kids ever. I don't know why you thought of that all of a sudden, but yeah, we're undecided, uh -huh. so maybe could maybe go not. either way. Aw, one day you hope to see a live of us carving with our kids. How cool would that be in like 2035? That would be pretty cute. Yeah. I don't know that I would ever want to put my kids on the internet. Um, It'd be their choice. It would be, but when they're young, they can't choose, you know? And I just, I don't know that I would want to put them in that kind of a situation. Um, but I think, like, as a family activity, it'll be a fun thing right. to do off the internet. Aw, we're already great with our fur kids. Well, thank you. We try. Yeah. We try our best. Best. Yeah, you don't think you'd put them on socials either? Yeah, it's just one of those things. Like, I would love to share and i'm sure i'd be very proud of my kids and want to show them off and like all that stuff but i just know that there's repercussions for it and i would never want my kids to have to worry about having a camera shoved in their face all the right. time if they weren't in the mood like to be a family vlogger or anything like <laughs> i just mm, yeah it's okay california dream and i know you had the right sentiment sentiment about it yeah um yeah, you forget there's weirdos online. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't know. I just would be scared for them. And yeah, I mean, I already would be scared enough, like just the thought of raising a child in this day and age. And like, how do you protect them from social media? You can't. Like, they have to have some form of technology. Otherwise, they're just you not. You don't even... have to use social media, though. I, I know. And I feel great about it. I know, but like, I feel so liberated. By I the know, fact that I but I feel like growing up, it would be a different kind of a pressure to have them, and like you want that validation. And I'm probably I mean, just I putting had, my like, own feelings on it. I always staring me down, and I chose to never acknowledge it. 
I know. Everyone reacts so differently to it. I just would get really scared for my kiddos. How do you navigate that? I just, it's a, it's a question that I don't think has a correct answer, you know? So um, either way, you guys, thank you so much for spending yeah. your night with us or part of your night with us carving pumpkins. I'm very happy with the way that ours turned out. I think they're very cute and I'm very I'm just very happy to have, a, have another one in the books yeah. of pumpkins. So thank you for spending time with us. Like I said, um, I hope you guys all have a very safe and happy Halloween. Um, <laughs> I should have usual content up this week, a Pokemon video at some point. It probably won't be until later in the week. Um, like last week's was on Thursday. There should be a video on Sunday next week here on this channel. So um you guys can look forward to that, hopefully, as long as, you know, the week goes well and everything. But I just hope you all have a wonderful, safe Halloween. Enjoy some Halloween candy and some pumpkin seeds and some cider or I don't know, whatever people do on Halloween. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yep. we will see you in our next live stream in a couple of weeks. So thanks for joining. And I hope you're all doing well. And until next time, stay well until then. Apparently Dan hates my hitchhiker thumbs. This is, this is, uh, 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 we're done. <laughs> <laughs>